In this week's news from Lawrence Livermore, lab scientists and our university partners have developed a membrane that can effectively mimic the structure of your kidney's membrane using titanium. Okay, let's back up. When I say membrane, I mean some kind of layer that separates one thing from another thing. Now in biology and inside our own bodies, membranes have really important jobs because they can let certain molecules through that we need while keeping other molecules that would be bad for us out. And our biological membranes inside our bodies are really good at being both permeable and selective. Now, permeable means that the membrane lets things through. Selective means that it only lets the right things through. Sometimes we need to make membranes that mimic this capacity of natural membranes. Like we use artificial membranes for medical uses like dialysis, but also for things like water purification. Now, the hitch is that making an artificial membrane that's both selective and permeable is actually really tricky. Nature is just really good at it and it's hard to do. Picture it like this. We have this ground coffee. Only the tiniest pieces represent the compound that we want to let through our membrane, which is our colander here. This colander is kind of permeable in that it may let through only some of our smallest grounds of coffee. And it does keep out other big things, like these bigger chunks of ground coffee, which represent the different compound that we don't want to let in through our membrane. So this membrane or colander is highly selective and that's good, but it's not super permeable. So that's not good. This larger colander, on the other hand, a different kind of membrane, let's say, will let through our smallest pieces of ground coffee, which is great, but it lets in the larger pieces too and lots of other things. So it's highly permeable, but it's not highly selective. You see the dilemma? But LLNL scientists, in collaboration with researchers at the University of Illinois at Chicago, may have cracked the code. The team used a nanometer thin layer of titanium oxide, but not just titanium oxide by itself. They took a leaf out of nature's book and tried something new. The layer is actually a self-supportive 3D structure. So if we're talking super simply, it's basically a tube. This hugely increases the surface area of the membrane and therefore the filtration area, making it capable of transport of water and gases across the membrane. Now, not only does it imitate nature, but it may be able to help us out when nature breaks down. The researchers say that work like this could be used in implantable devices, like something that filters your blood in the same way your kidneys do for you, or it could be used in artificial membrane lungs, which could be huge for so many people who suffer from total and permanent kidney or lung failure. But just when you thought it couldn't get any cooler, a high-performance nanoporous membrane like this isn't just useful for biological and medical applications, because this particular membrane can also be selective for lithium ions. So it can also be used to enhance energy storage in batteries, potentially improving the performance of lithium sulfide and lithium oxide batteries. This team says they're excited to optimize this technology using cutting edge machine learning algorithms and exciting new 3D printing techniques, making this artificial membrane a truly interdisciplinary endeavor. If you were wowed by the work we covered in this video, then subscribe to our channel for a new look inside the lab every month. And subscribe to us on all of our social media platforms to stay up to date with our exciting science news. We're at Livermore Lab everywhere you can look for us. If you have questions about this work or if you have another topic that you want us to cover, leave it for us in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.